championship court in Newport Beach. Matt Wright and Lucy Kovalova, Simone Jarjim and Ben Johns. What a weekend it has been. Yesterday, Simone and Lucy pairing up for another championship. Lucy, seconds. as much as I'm surprised to say it, kind of had to put Simone on her back a few times yesterday. Simone not having her best day. Still, they persevered. They win a title. Here they are again. Game one, time in. And now zero, zero, against two. each other. Dave, how tough are moments like this as we are now underway? Well, this is a matchup, guys, that we see Side quite out. often here in the winner's bracket final, Rob. And you and I have witnessed some classic matchups here. Zero, zero, one. What do you think are the keys as we look at this matchup? The keys to the, uh, the gate of success in this game is going to be minimizing unforced errors uh, with at the same time having that intensity and in, in staying on your opponent's cases. So let's take a look at how the best Second, of sir. the best handle the pressure here in this winner bracket final. Ben Johns, ball in hand. Zero, zero, 002. to go around the post, she kind of ricocheted off at that time. Point. Historically, guys, in this matchup, Ben and Simone have had the upper hand, but Matt and One, zero, Lucy two. are certainly the second best team. They're the number two seed in this bracket, fully capable of capturing this title here today at the Newport White tape comes out the victor on that one. Matt Wright just practicing his motion as he goes back to the baseline. Two, zero, two. Folks can't see it on your monitors, but Wright and Kovalova are playing into the wind. Simone and Ben Point. are downwind. So that last tink from Wright came up a little bit short, and I think the wind really affected that ball. So let's keep an eye on that. Yeah, it's picked up Three, throughout zero, the day here in Newport Beach, 65 degree temperatures. Big time. There you go, the man for the job, Matt Wright, winning that hand battle against Ben Johns. Side out. Let me ask you guys this. As I said, Lucy yesterday had, I think, the best day I've Zero, ever three, seen one. her play. When you have a player red hot like that, do you put a little bit more on her shoulders, especially on a stage like Second this? Second serve. You absolutely, and as you guys out there watching this play, if you feel that you're on that day and feeling good and your partner maybe is a little bit off that day, you should take Zero, more three, of the two. court and bear more responsibility and have more control over that match, just as you saw Lucy do. That's a great point, Drew. Mm. You know, we talked about that hand point. battle two points ago with Matt and Ben. You know, I've said this publicly many times. I think you were witnessing here the two guys with the absolute best combination of not only quick hands, but powerful hands. One, I don't know three, if you'd two. agree with me, Rob. Oh, no, yeah. But I've I, said that yeah. many times. And, you know, I take pride in my hand speed, and, and, and you know, that type of praise coming from you for them is, you know, that's coming from Dave Weinbach. That's a huge compliment to, to Ben and Matt. That's there. Let's reset from right. Oh, yeah. There we go, folks. That's what we're expecting. Points just like that. Patience meets power. What a great point. Two, and they're three. on the board, cruising point. Matt Wright, ball in hand. 2-3-2. Two, two. I mean, Matt Wright, he point. is a former tennis player, but the way he holds that paddle, Dave, and firefights like that, it almost is very, very much like ping pong. If you watch three, three, Matt two. with the ready position with his paddle, it's always way in front of his body. He sits at about 11 o'clock, so we can get to his forehand quickly as well. And there's another example. He's very quick at getting to the kitchen line, too. You know, he's got long strides. Basically, it's two big steps, and Matt's from the baseline Four, three, two. to the kitchen line. I've been fortunate to play a lot of pickleball with Matt Wright, and he's my favorite partner I've ever played with. Point. It's not just his physical skills. It's his mental skills. He's so motivated. He's a great communicator. Five, three, I love two. the chemistry with Matt Wright. Nice. Oh, oh, yeah. Simone up for that one. Punishing himself with that initiation. Of course, the elder statesman 
Matt Wright. Three, five, one. In a match like this, Dave, you know what it takes to be more productive as a player as you get further, further up in age. Matt in absolute terrific physical shape. He looks the best I've ever Second seen turn. him. He's lost a few pounds. He tells me back home he's working Three, out five, more, two. he's playing more. You can see how highly motivated he is. You know, and he loves Lucy, he loves playing with Lucy. He doesn't want to let her down. He, they want to win so bad. And I love that about them, they're so competitive. Mm. Been a long that time. But it's tough when you play against the number one man in the world and teaming up with the number one woman in the world. And in my opinion, Four, it's five, really close. I think Simone is that far ahead of the second best uh, girl. I don't know if you agree with that, Rob. Absolutely. There's certain some, some contenders for that, and uh, I'm sure Wright would, would love to change those definitions of who the number one is. And, and like you said, with that motivation and, and uh, dedication, commitment, he's definitely the guy for the job. Here we are, guys. Tie game. Game one here. It's the best of three as this five, is our five, winner's two. bracket final. Simone Jardim serving to Lucy Kovalova. Oh, there it is. So good. I thought Ben was a little Shout impatient out. there. That backhand <laughs> roll was by his left knee, and he five, five, rolled one. It high to the Lucy Kovalova backhand. If yeah. you go high to Lucy's backhand, you are going to pay a very steep price. Yeah, I think Lucy thought he was a little impatient, too. <laughs> she was licking her chops. We could see it from here. 5-5-2. Five, five, All right, still a tie game here, 5-5-2. Five, five, Third shot oh. drive. Off the forehand of Ben, Point. but reveals the sideline. It's a good play. Well, right, anticipating that ball extremely well, and he was ready with that paddle way out in front. And notice when Matt hits that volley, every ounce of his momentum is going forward. And Six, that's five, how two. you get more power and more depth on those volleys. Best match between these two teams happened in Tampa. Point. Second stop on the PPA tour, and it was the second one. Remember, it was a quickie, the first one between Seven, five, two. two teams. But Matt and Lucy regained their composure, came back, and gave Ben and Simone all they could handle. And there's another doozy. Point. Matt is reading the ball off of Thank John's you. paddle as good as I've ever seen him in anticipating where that ball is going to end up. And Eight, five, uh, that gives them... A significant lead here, 8-5 in game one. Again, folks, we're in the winner's bracket final. The winner of this drew will advance to the gold medal match. The loser of this match goes five, eight, into one. the bronze medal match where they'll wait a while for the consolation round to catch up. Nicely Point. done by Simone and Dave. How surprised were you to see Simone and Lucy yesterday have to battle their way well, out of the losers' Let's bracket. give credit to Catherine Parento and Callie Smith. You know, that's as good as I've ever seen them play. And I had a chance to watch that match with you, Drew, on center court here. And it wasn't like Simone and uh, Lucy played horrible. Catherine and Callie had their A-plus game. And when they bring that, it's going to be tough to beat them. But all credit to Simone and Lucy for coming back and persevering and capturing gold. Oh. Point. Matt Wright in control there for most of that point. A uh, little unlucky help from the net there. Kind of caught him off his, off his rhythm there. We got Seven, a tight eight, game here in game one. 7-8-1. Going the other direction. Second Kovalova serve. Right had to defeat uh, Tarashenko and McGuffin earlier. Seven as well eight as two. Morgan Evans and Jill Braverman. And of course, Tyler Loon and Susanna Barr to be here. The lob is up. Oh! Ho, ho. Unreal overhead from Ben Johns. Literally running to that Point. back corner. Snapping that ball down with his momentum away from the net. But the key to being able to execute that shot is do you see how quickly Johns got back with his footwork to be able to execute that shot? Great play by Ben. Mm. 
Scrambling a bit here. Fakes the drop, sets himself up for the angle. No easy kill against the top Ripping team. It. And pickleball, Matt Wright, finally persistence paying off. The doctor. Matt Wright taking some deep breaths after that point. That took a lot out of him. Those they overheads can be exhausting. Uh, they can be tough on the lungs. He's gonna, they're going to do a timeout to keep him in, uh, in tip-top shape here. It's a good call. So 9-8, take a deep breath. <laughs> Tense moments here on championship court. Game one, two great teams going head to head. Hey, Benny boy, top of the morning to you. Do you know what time it is? It's the morning, it's 7 a.m., what do you want? It's 7 a.m., come on, it's cocktail hour. Uh, really? <laughs> Got a good one brewing here. Jarjima Johns against Wright and Kovalova. Lucy will serve up a point here. Game number one. Drew Felios, Rob Cassidy, Dave Weinbach has crashed the party here on Championship Court. Time in. Got a little break in hey, the senior uh, mix. Chris Anderson and I are waiting in the gold, so wanted to join you boys for a match over here. This is awesome. Oh, just in. A little fire fight. Second serve. Here we go, hey, second two. serve. A little bit of a brawl here in game one. Nice drop from Matt. Ben feels like he probably should have let that one go, but Lucy Kovalova setting herself up and taking Thank the cake. You. Talked about the showdown, Simone. Simone versus Lucy, but it is, it's really been Matt and Ben going head to head here. Great get there by Lucy. There it is again. Side oh, out. Wide. That gives them a very valuable side out here at 8-9 eight, here eight, nine, in game one. one of this mixed doubles pro final. Winner's final. Oh. Most effective shot, Dave, Second right serve. down the middle. Deep down the middle is always a very effective eight, shot, nine, pickleball, Drew, at any time. Point. Mm. Tie game here. 9-9-2, nine, nine, Ben Johns, ball in hand. 9-9-2. Nine, nine, two. two points away from putting this close match in the books. Well, we're just game one here. Come on, man. You don't yeah. see that very often. That's Side usually out. Simone's favorite shot is when she's locked and loaded on that two-handed backhand. And that one was up high. Nine, I nine, think one. she was actually surprised that ball was that elevated. There's that side out. Now Lucy and Matt looking to put game one in the books. Whoa. Lucy. Oh, wow. Oh, what a point. Every player demonstrating incredible That's skill important. and incredible hands. And Matt got the ball he wanted and just dumped it in the tape. 9-9-2. Nine, nine, Second serve. Looking for that 11-9 finish. Nice dig from Ben. Yeah. Lucy what. able to punish. She is absolutely just tearing it up. Just Point. spitfire. Great ball. Great put away. Gosh, she gets so low there, that reach, plus her ability to get low and athletic. Just like Dave mentioned, out in front. A little gusty. Side out. Game's Great. still up for grabs. Yeah, terrific return. That ball really stayed down with that slice spin, and that made match third Nine, so two, much one. more difficult. Mm. It's 
Moni getting low as well. Oh! The ill-advised attack on Ben Johns and the KO counterpunch from I, Ben. I would not recommend that strategy very often. Do not be attacking the Ben Johns backhand with pace. Tied at 10, remember, win by two. Right. Oh. oh. Point. And here we are, game point here on the line, looking for that 12-10 finish here in game one. They've got two attempts here. 11-10-1. That's oh, tough serve. Yeah. Point. All set up by an incredibly offensive serve. You know, this year I've seen Ben get much more aggressive on his serve, both in singles and doubles. Here it is. There's the heavy serve. He sees it. He's all over it. So many options, and he picks the right one to put game one in the books. So going to game two, 12-10, tight, game one. So Jarjim and Johns up a game. Headed to game number two when we come back. Stay with us. We're in Newport Beach at the double shootout. My favorite paddle is the V520. It's more of a control paddle, which is great for my game because I'm certainly known as more of a defensive player, but it's still great for hitting a hard serve and drive the ball well from the transition area and from the kitchen. Go ahead and drive it at me. I'm ready to block it into the kitchen. I can roll it or I can slice it. Either way, I feel like it's gonna go in. With the soft feel of the paddle, I can dig all day. So go ahead and try it out, dig me. Pick a little cocktail, can't wait to try it. Cheers. That is delicious. That's wonderful. Wow, that is really good. Orangey, tasticness. That is absolutely awesome. Way better than bananas. Well, that's nice. Not, Not too sweet. Real orange flavor. Tastes just like tank. Sugar-free, no extra calories. This is a cocktail you should drink oh, at 6.30 in the morning. Yes. Cheers. When I step onto the court, I get a burst of adrenaline. That adrenaline makes me focus, and that focus helps me win. I love looking out and seeing my teammates standing there, supporting me, cheering me on. People always ask me, what do you want out of a pickleball brand? For me, it's simple. Performance products and support. Performance is a head game. Championship court here in Newport Beach. Game one to Jarjim and Jean. Okay, game two, time in, 0, zero And two. what an epic game it was. You know, they had game point, Matt and Lucy did. Just couldn't finish. 12-10, tough way to go. Let's get by Ben. Simone follows suit. There it is. Point. And that's what you gotta be, Dave. You gotta be a finisher in order to beat the champions. Yeah, you got One, the zero, best two. players in the world out here, and when you get that ball that's attackable, you gotta be able to finish. Let's Guys, see. I, I have a out. feeling that no matter what happens, Rob, in this match, we very well in about two hours are gonna see this <laughs> matchup again. Zero, one, one. Very possible. We still have the Newmans alive, looking to uh, secure their spot in that gold medal match. Oh. 
point. Ben, ben right on ben, his case. Ben can't believe he missed that high forehand. <laughs> Matt Wright, very one, one, crafty, one. you know, just kind of subtly crafty. Not much is revealed by this man in terms of what he's Second serve. going for, what he's attacking. It is. Until you play against him, you don't realize how uh, misdirection one, one, his shots are. He can go any way, and he holds it until the last second. So it's really difficult to read his shots. Side out. Dave, you have a uh, gold medal match coming up in just a bit. Yeah, Chris right? Anderson and I are playing together again in the senior mixed, and we've come through the one, winner's one, bracket one. unscathed, so we're waiting for a couple hours uh, and see who we play here. Nice oh, nice beauty. shot by Lucy there, fantastic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Matt Wright looking for it. Crowd gives it to him. Second serve. <laughs> and Matt looks up one, here one, and says, let's get this crowd into this match, baby. Just a little sedated compared to yesterday. A little mesmerized by the play here. Matt Wright getting fired up. And Dave, that's so important in this game. To have emotion, right? I mean, it serves you Side well, out. doesn't it? I wish we could see more of it, Drew, on the court. One, one, you know, one. all human beings show the emotion and show the intensity in a different way. I love the electricity that Matt Wright brings to pickleball. Another guy that has that is the guy that's in between you and I in the booth here. Rob Cassidy can bring it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh Matt Wright putting it down. Yeah. Going to work here in game two. Boy. It's true, Drew. I really want to see some more energy and excitement on the pickleball court. Yeah, we're playing for uh, for stakes here, and there's money involved, but there's no reason you can't have two, show one, some one. more emotion, show some more passion, smile, laugh, really get into it. Yeah, there's a lot of different ways to play the game, a lot of different personalities, as this game is for everybody. Great play by Lucy. She's fired up, showing some emotion right there. That's three straight from Ryder Kovalova feeding off the crowd here. And again, Dave, when you have the top-ranked mixed doubles Three, one, one. team, crowd, a lot of times tends to side towards the underdog, situations like this. Yeah, and we're sensing that here. No surprise. Mm. That's just too good, as Matt Wright says, as that Second backhand serve. comes off of Ben John's paddle. He caught Matt leaning middle. And that's a good teaching point, Rob. You know, I know you and I do a lot of teaching all over the country. Three, yeah. one, two. With your peripheral vision, I always try to tell people, try to read your opponent's paddle position and where their body is leaning with your peripheral vision. There's a lot of information there that you can use to your advantage, for sure. That's, that's good insight. Meanwhile, Lucy smokes one right off the hip of Ben Johns. Four, one, two. It's four, one. Text that middle. Right, throws up a backhand. Wishes he kind of left it for, for Lucy there, perhaps. One, four, one. Great pressure from Ben. Get that ball back in his hands. See what they can do with it. Nice move. Guys, I know you play so much of this game. Second serve. Great move. Toughest part, most humbling part when you get struck by the ball. That thing one, stings, four, right, when it comes at the velocity that it does. It certainly can, especially when you're playing early in the morning with a, a hard you know, cold durable. We've all we've all had the uh, marks on our body, and that sails just wide. Side, Side out. Back to right, Kovalova. It's just one of the many humbling uh, <laughs> occurrences that can occur in this game for sure. Four one one. Ooh, then good footwork to Second, to play that ball off the bounce, give himself all the options. The Wichita-Kansas combo trying to capture game two here Four, and one, force three. a game three in this best two out of three winner's bracket final. Looks like they're up for the challenge. Matt Wright staying on their case. Oh, yeah. Mm. All fire from here on out. Point. Breathing. Breathing fire over here. Team Onyx. Five, one, two. certainly not over yet. It's actually still early in this game, too. But uh, they're off to a great start. Right, getting big. No. A little too big. A little Side out. In there and he just get, didn't commit to where he wanted to put that ball. You could tell he changed his mind at the last one, second. Five, one. And when you don't commit to a shot, you're much more apt to make an unforced error. Right. That hesitation or tentativeness will kill you. Mention Wichita, Second Kansas, serve. Wichita State, the Shockers, usually known for great baseball teams one, five, in the past, two. great basketball program now currently. 
Pickleball, this duo of Wright and Kovalova, they have put it on the map. Oh, yeah. Brings it back down. He's there. Oh, oh. but it's too tough. Ball was way behind him. Lucy Point. almost there for the cover on it. You can show us how much they want this bad boy. Also from Wichita, Jay lives there. Two, five, Pat two. lives there. A guy named Chris Heck. So many great players. Dylan Frazier is not far from there. One of the best young players we have in the whole country. So nice. these guys get a lot Side of play, play, play in Wichita, which is so important to keep your skills sharp. And talk about that pickleball pipeline in Wisconsin, too, oh, building. Let's, let's go, go baby. One. Zane Navratil. Zane Navratil lives in the Milwaukee area. Yep, we've really tried to grow it there. When I met Zane, he was a Division three college tennis player at the University of Whitewater, about an hour or so away from Madison. And he would drive up three or four days a week and drill Five, two, two. and play with our, our group. And back then, he could barely spell pickleball. And I'm so proud to see his development in the game. And such a terrific young man, besides just a great player. Point. And Johns goes for a little much there as Wright and Kovalova able to put another point on that board Six, as they two, two. creep closer to 11 here. And this best of three win by two. Ooh. The ball is called deep. Side out. As it was, just a little bit of a late call there. 2 6 ball 1. Back in hand, 2 6. Someone's our team looks to be energized over there. Moving your feet is half the battle. Oh, looked like maybe a little wide that time. Yeah, I agree with you, Drew. Yeah. Looks like Matt's giving him the benefit of the doubt there. Just Let's wait. see the replay here. Just wait. Oh. Uh, hard to tell. Yeah, you can that. clearly see by the replay that ball was. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I, I thought I thought live it was a little bit uh, a little bit wide, but Matt was ch too busy chasing it. Sometimes it's hard to make that call when you're chasing. It was a respectful call by Matt Wright. And here they are, still grinding it out. Matt Wright, you can't call that out. Let's go. Second serve. Oh yeah, this is great. Three six two. No. Just wide. I've noticed Wright being more active than I've seen Side him out. in probably a year. And what I mean by that is six, more three, active one. with his feet coming over more to his right and trying to get any forehand he possibly can get. Yeah, as we've seen even earlier today, just his presence and his movement can be Second an influence turn. on the point in the match. And, you know, I think he's very, very well aware of that. Six, three, two. There's a lot of trust he has in Lucy, so he's in a good place where he doesn't have to do too much, but he gets to do what he wants. Just like that. That's a good point. Goes for it and oh. comes out on top. Looks for the eyes of Ben. Point. For some reason, Johns is having a harder time in this match reading where the yes. ball is coming off of the Matt Wright forehand. I've noticed that Seven, a lot three, in game two. one. And you just saw it again there. Usually Ben anticipates very, very well. Let's keep an eye on that as this match progresses. Oh, just long. Point. John's pressing a little bit Tom more than left. I've You'll seen him in the past. Three, He's playing a little bit stressy, more than I've seen him maybe a little bit uh, yeah, out I'm of his normal comfort level, Rob. Yeah, I think he's feeling that too as he just drops the paddle calling that timeout, so. So 8-3, here game number two. Wright and Kovalova trying to extend when we come back. Girls, I love being a girl. I love to play. I love to inspire, and I love to have fun. So you, you go girl, go play, go inspire, go have fun. Because it's fun to be you, it's fun to play, it's fun to inspire, and it's fun to feel good. Jigsaw Health, proud sponsor. Here of the PGA seconds. Tour. Great promos we've seen throughout all the tour stops. Here in Newport Beach, the Time site. Is in. 8 3. 8 3 right 2. And Kovalova, game number two, trying to force a game three. Side out. <laughs> Hands up in the air on that one from Matt Wright. 
because that was not what the plans had drawn up for him on that one. Red that ball one. got a foot and a half below the net. Really tough to attack that ball. Oh, man. Quite the timeout called by Ben Johns as they're able to snag that side out point. and put a point on the board in the blink of an eye. 4 8 one There it is. Looks like Matt Wright's back. Oh, a little anxious point. there. Simone Jardine with a great shot. She saw Wright sitting strong backhand, so she went to the forehand side Five, of his eight, body, one. and that just didn't get there. Great read there by Jardine. <laughs> Do not want to mess with Lucy Kovalova here in Newport Beach, California. Five eight awesome two. Play. Looking to hold their lead here. Three point game, game two. She's played amazing all week. Sets her partner up. Ben with the perfect reset. ATP. Oh, there it is. Matt can't believe he even gave her that option. He should have known better. He's already apologizing to Lucy for that. So what you're saying, make sure you don't get put into a position like that. Yeah, there's certain players where, Six, you know, eight, two. I mean, you know, standard strategy is you want to pull your player off, your part, your opponent off the court, but you pull him too far off the court when at this level, you give him an easier shot on that ATP. It's tough. It's, it's, a, it's a tricky little pickle it puts you in. <laughs> That's high. Counter punching. No! And Whoa. a good eye. Wow. Boy, did Lucy read that middle ball so well, and she was cocked and loaded on her backhand, as you're going to see right there. And a good leave there by Wright. 8 6 1. To let that go. Two point game here, battling for game two. Looking to push it to a game three. Wright? Yep. Oh, yeah. Come on. Beautiful, beautiful execution Point. there. No fear against the big bed, Bed Johns. Matt Wright rising to the occasion here. Another point on the board. Here Nine, we go. Six, one. Two points away from that 11. Lucy Kovalova, originally from Slovakia. Came to the United States to play college tennis. Oh, forced volley there. Second serve. Second serve here as they could put this game in the books right here. Let's see what they do. 9 6 2. Kovalova answers what Simone did just moments ago. Oh, the ladies going to the ATP. Beautiful around the post. So open, yeah. all over it. Smelled the blood in the water. Point on the board. Game point coming 10, 6, up here. 2. Let's take a look. Oh. What? Wow. No. There it is, game two in the books, going to a game three. Awesome fight from Kovalova right. Simone, Simone and Ben looking for answers, as it appears. Game three could be a different story. So a game apiece, one more look at game point. Again, Matt Wright standing tall, Lucy Kovalova playing the weekend of pickleball of her life. Great defense there. So much going on. A lot of adversity with that net playing a factor there. Both teams having to, to get it done. Matt Wright coming out on top. Deciding third game coming up next from Newport Beach. Don't dare go away. The Dink is your new source for all things pickleball. Shop the largest selection of pickleball gear from top brands like Selkirk, Paddle Tech, Onyx, Vulcan, and more, as well as the new Feel a Pickleball collection of footwear and apparel. You'll also find stories, player profiles, and videos from around the world of pickleball. Visit us at thedinkpickleball.com, the exclusive home of PPA merchandise. Stories, gear, intel, the new player in pickleball.
When I step onto the court, I get a burst of adrenaline. That adrenaline makes me focus and that focus helps me win. I love looking out and seeing my teammates standing there, supporting me, cheering me on. People always ask me, what do you want out of a pickleball brand? For me, it's simple, performance products and support. Performance is a head game. The Newport Beach Pro Double Shootout brought to you by the PPA. Play where the pros play. By Jigsaw Health, it's fun to feel good. Foot Solutions, your feet are the foundation of your health. Let us take care of them for you. By Fila Pickleball. By The Dink, the new player in pickleball. Head Pickleball, performance is a head game. And by ChampionshipCourt.com, your professional pickleball network. Well, it's come to this. Game three. Game one to Jarjim and Johns. Game two to Ryden Kovalova. Okay, guys, we're going to switch at six on this one. Time in. Game three, right zero, zero, two. Their seed here on championship court. Lucy serves. Beautiful lob, great setup. Simone and Ben with that impeccable defense. They're gonna make you do one, two, three, four, five more overheads than you thought that you had to do. So that's a point that I thought we'd see that trend more often where Lucy and Simone are dinking forehand cross court. We didn't see much of that in the first two games. They're gonna see a lot more of that in game three. Oof. The cross court swing, Point. the cross court attack, Dave. You know how that, well, that well, kind of gives your opponent a little more time to see the ball. Lucy hung one, zero, that up a foot too high. Right. You do that to Simone's backhand, you're going to get roasted. Oh, nice! The uh, genius yeah. miss hit. The edge guard <laughs> yeah. drop volley. Yeah. It's not an easy shot. <laughs> Very effective. One zero two. A little smile from Matt Wright. Mm -hmm. He's had his fair share. He's, he's seen a thing or two about luck on both sides of the net, so oh. he's able to take it in stride. And that Point. ball sails all you ball long, correctly called by Simone and Ben. What would a two, victory zero, two. mean, even if they don't win the title? Dave, if Matt Wright and Lucy were to manufacture a victory here as oh. Wright went for the Ernie, gets away from him, and Ben just kind of looks back at him Dink. and says, don't try me. Sorry. It would go so much for their confidence, Drew, you know, and their inner Three, zero, belief, two. not just in this tournament, but as you look forward. This is a matchup that I think we're going to see time and time again this year here on the Professional Pickleball Tour. Go. Makes me think of, uh, let's watch this point here. I love how she uses the wind to her advantage on that lob. Oh. Yes. Wow. Awesome point. Like you said, or asked Drew, you know, how, what, what type Side of importance out. it would have just to win this match, you know. And I liked, it makes me think of the movie 300 and how, mm -hmm. you know, King Leonidas needed to, he, he, he made the God King bleed. You know, just, just by just by cutting him, you know, just by showing that it's possible, that mm -hmm. showing him that he's mortal and that it's possible, that's that's extremely important that 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 is that's that show what is possible. Yep, Ben and Lucy have Point. been immortal <laughs> so far on this tour. Just absolutely, absolutely unbeatable. 
Another example there of Ben one, not three, one. reading where the ball is coming off the Matt Wright forehand. Second serve. Tough miss serve there. As that ball ends in the kitchen, that's a fault as far as serves are concerned. 1-3-2. One, 1-3-2, three, two. One, three, two. game three, switch sides at six. Winner's bracket final, Newport Beach PPA. See. Still in it. Oh. Nice. Watching these points, Dave, you see Lucy, the pattern of Lucy and Shout Simone out. going at it. You know, she's deciding to attack cross Three, court one, to one. Simone, where normally you don't want to attack cross court, but, you know, in terms of her options, a rock and a hard place, you know, attacking Ben straight turn. up or attacking Simone cross court. What do you think? I think you got to go cross court to Simone because, number one, Simone's Three, not one, as dangerous as Ben. And number two, when you take cross court, you're going over the lowest part of the net and you have the most kitchen area to work with. Ben looks to reset that ball, bounces very high. Mm. Point. A little frustration from Matt. Let's see if he can get his head back on uh, in the right direction here and, uh, and secure this game three. Right saying to himself, you're right there, just hit it. 4-1-2. Once again, Ben and Simone have the advantage of the wind here. There's no breaks in their streak. Every time they get out on that court, they are streaking, they are vibing, they are in the zone. There's never, you never see a break in that. Here we are, game three, they're already up 1-4-1. One, one. One. Matt and Lucy playing into the wind. Ben and Simone are a little downwind. Second serve. Great volley there by Johns. 1-4-2. Side out. All of a sudden, hit a bit of a wall here, side out. Both serve possessions, or, yeah, so both of their serve possessions didn't make it past the, the their third ball there. You know that's how short that was. And Four one one. Can't have that. Just kind of shooting yourself in the foot when you when you restrict yourself to just that. Not going to get many more opportunities. Right. Lob. Oof. Oh no. Oh yeah. Point. Just sound fundamentals from Ben Johns. Every shot he takes, he's so powerful because his fundamentals are so good. That swing, the body weight, Five, everything. One, one. Movement to the ball, best of the best here. The PPA. Simone dropping it in. Let's see if she can work her way to the kitchen line. Nope. Second serve. Need to keep them at five for a good minute here if they want to stay in this match. Five, one, two. Six, one side switch is not what we're going to be looking for here for Team Wright Kovalova. Had a great conversation, guys, Point. with Matt Wright switch ends. yesterday. Go to a timeout here, tell you more about one it minute. when we come back. Trailing here to Georgine and Johns, trying to keep pace with the best team in mixed doubles. It's pretty awesome, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Would you sign it? Why do you need my signature? Uh, for uh, no, if, if that's what you want, Patrick, I'm gonna need you to sign a few documents first. This is an NDA. Sign down here, initial and date. Should I ask my lawyer about this? I can't advise you on that. Should I ask a doctor? I suppose it couldn't hurt. It does hurt a little bit. Jarjim and Johns, 6-1 over Wright Kovalova, game number three. Drew Felios, Rob Cassidy, Dave Weinbach was talking about the conversation with Matt Wright. He said, talked in detail about playing with Lucy Kovalova, how they are also an item off the court and makes losing that much tougher because, of course, you're playing for each other. Yeah, there's the car ride home, you know, it's never <laughs> easy. And there's when you get home. <laughs> <laughs> Ben comes up just short, and I think, Dave, you hit it. You said 
Well, Matt wants to play well, especially for Lucy. He knows he has a partner in her prime, extremely talented. Don't want to let her down. Absolutely. Here's that side out, folks. Game three, right in Kovalova in this winner's bracket final. Yeah, oh. gets the job done. Point on the board. See if Matt Wright can dig deep here. He's got to get past the frustration, get past of what, you know, Ben Johns is demanding him to physically exert. He needs to stay in this match, stay economical, as we talked about a little, or efficient, rather, as we talked right. earlier. They're at 2-6. Tough miss from Matt, stomping around. He needs to get comfortable, become that beast again that we saw in game two. 2-6-2. Ooh. Yes. Nice. Awesome execution. That's what it's going to take. Point. Can they rinse and repeat? Can they do it again? 3-6. Three, six, two. Generous call there. I thought that ball was a full ball out. I mean, I saw all green, and was, we have a good angle on it. It was a generous call, yeah. Yeah, Very Matt close. thought it was out too, but I think Matt thought Lucy was going to make the call because she was right on top of it. But, you know, once she hits the six, ball, three, you, you really can't call it out. Mm. You could see him talking about it, and Matt's, Matt's pretty, pretty sure that he, he saw what we saw. But anyway, moving on. No speed bumps here in this winner's bracket final game three. Oh, Ben Johns gets to do his full wind up, but that pesky net steps in his way. Dave, what do we got to do with that net? We got a R E S P E C T. Respect that net. Nice. My man. Don't let that net get in your way. Got to beat your opponents. Well, in all seriousness, Point. what I mean by that is, folks, give yourself some margin over for air over the net. Don't Seven, aim a three, ball two. or a ball and a half over the net, because if you hit the net, as you know, Rob, you're done. If you miss it a little bit too high, at least you still have a chance. So, folks, give a lot of respect to that net, and respect Aretha Franklin, too. <laughs> Make your opponents Side play. Out. High reward, low risk. Very well said. Three, seven, one. Side out back to Georgie and John's rather right. Koval over here. Side out. Trailing 7-3. Lucy dialed in. And that's long. Good eye. Point. Ben looking to force the action there. 4-7-1. 4-7-1. Says Ron Ponder. One of the best refs we have, Rob. Lucy. Ah, no! Oh. Oh, still got it anyway. Wow. That's incredible Boy. hands by Lucy. Look at the Five, backhand seven, down the line, and then a huge celebration. They know how important that was, Rob. Now's the time. Start building momentum. Right with that setup drive there. Gets him to the net, and he takes the point. One point Boy. game here, game three. You know, Drew. Come Momentum is such a powerful seven, thing, seven, in, tool in this game. Speaking more, of momentum, more, yep. more so than other sports, you know, that I have uh, seen. Timeout called by Ben Johns, looking to put it in their tracks. We're going to take a quick timeout break here. We'll be right back. Yep. Lucia Kovalova. Pickleball cocktail. And cut. <laughs> Patrick, did you get all the shots you need? Because I would really like to go play pickleball. Lucy, I'm making art here. Did Michelangelo take a break from the Sistine Chapel to go play soccer? Places, everyone. If she's got to go, I can take her spot. Wind has picked up here in Newport Beach, and the lead has been trimmed to one for Jarjim and Johns. And game three, Wright and Kovalova clipping at their heels. 
and the number one team in mixed doubles take an L here in Newport Beach. Kovalova and Wright. Comes in. Six, seven, one. Best chance to do it right here, right now. Go. Down, I mean, that's going to sail two feet long. It's a good idea. It was a, a well-constructed play by Matt Wright with that drive, kind of setting her up. But uh, yeah, Six, not seven, able to get that ball on court. Second serve, got one point game. Got another chance here to get the seven. Nice deep volley there by Johns. You see how deep he got both those volleys? Side Folks, that puts so much more pressure on your opponent. When you can go get those volleys in the back third seven, of six, the one. court, it makes their shot so much more difficult. Huge side out here. Lucy hung that dink up Point. again too high to the Simone forehand. And she is going to make you pay every time. 8-6-1. Oh, what hands. Oh, great. And a big swing from Lucy to put it away. Second serve. Guys, right now. 862. Right, Kovalova got to keep Jarjim and Johns close. Cannot let them get to 9 and 10 here. Yeah, this is that clutch time of the game where Ben shifts into that, that new gear. Let's see if it's Side enough out. to hold off the fired up Lucy Kovalova and Matt Wright. Matt Wright appears to be out of his funk at this point. There has certainly been a little bit of a momentum eight, shift one. here. Ball in hand. 681. Need offense here. Oh. Off the net and out. Just by a ball. Sails wide. And that gives him a second serve at 6 8 2 here in the six, deciding eight, game three. PPA Newport Beach. Oh, yeah. Side out. You could tell he mishit that ball off the edge of his paddle. Did not hit the center of his paddle. 8 6 1. That one was big. What a drop on Ben. Nope. Jarjim and Johns now closing in. 9-6, two points away. Matt Wright needs to continue to fight. Can't, can't concede in just yet. Needs to continue to fight and get that ball back right here. 9-6-1. Keep in mind, no matter the outcome, very good chance we see this pairing again. Thing clear is Arjim and Johns taking the best shots, guys, of the field here today. We saw Nine, what six, the Newmans two. did earlier, taking a game from Arjim and Johns. Right, Kovalova doing the same. Just that does not happen on a routine basis. Nice. That right may Side not out. be done. Plenty of work to be done here. Three point game. Six, nine, one. I think if they're going to win this game, Rob, they've got to get a point on this service. Go, go. Stuck at six for a while now. Oh, Ben got away with that. Seven, that ball sir. was very high above the net, very attackable. I think Lucy was actually surprised that it got so high. Yeah, it was Six, to nine, her two. left shoulder, which might have demanded a, a, a backhand, and she really tried to forehand it there. Whether that was Ben's intent or whatnot, successful. And Matt side Wright out. giving it away on that side out again here in the dangerous hands of Ben John Simone Jardine. Nine, six, one. Another chance. Two points away. For the champs. For the gold medal berth. So steady. Fancy footwork from Matt. Come on. Lob again from Luce. No. 
And the ball is out. Great play by Second Lucy serve. and Matt Wright, just staying in it. Second serve. Whoever comes up on the losing end of this match will go down into the bronze where Lindsay and Riley Newman are waiting in the wings. 9-6-2. Definitely a tough out there. Yep. The drive attempt follows it up. Goes for the three-peat off the net and deep. As in long out. out off the court. <laughs> Unsuccessful. <laughs> Went for the three-er though, the three-peat. You know, on this, that's six, bold. Nine, ben one. Johns is allowed to do just that. All right, they got the ball back at 6-9. Certainly have had their opportunities. was playing it safe. Might have missed an opportunity there to, to, to put that ball down. Let's I'm take a look here. I'm really surprised that Simone attacked Matt with that ball instead of going back cross court to Lucy. Seven, nine, one. Matt just sitting strong on that backhand punch. Yeah, that's the side I think she's got to do more of. Go. Yes. Oh, yeah. Great point. Fired point. up. One point game here. Game three. Winner's bracket final. Winner moves on to the gold medal match. And loser has to face Eight, nine, up against one. Team Newman. Within striking range. Oh, yeah. Oh! Lucy Kovalova clutch Second on the serve. first two. Second serve here now. Nice pressure from Eight, nine, two. Drive attempt. Sets himself up. Clutch. Bold. Point. Tied at nine. Could we possibly nine, nine, two. have an upset here? It's huge. Nine, nine. Oh, to the open space as Matt gets a little too big there, abandoning the sideline just a bit. Well, he leaned hard middle and to Ben's credit, he read that and he went behind him for the forehand inside out winner to get them the nine, ball nine, back one. at 9-9 nine, nine in game three of this winner's bracket final. Johns and Simone looking for the 11-9 victory here. And there's one. Point. Match point. You see how that time she attacked the Matt Wright forehand? Because he was sitting nine, backhand one. strong. Great decision there by Simone. First match point. Surprise, Matt let that ball bounce. Oh. Ben oh. Johns stepping in, clinching the match. Thank you. 11-9, right. Johns waves to the crowd, gives his partner a high five as the champions flex their muscle again. Challenged, gave away a game, didn't panic, stuck to the game plan. And Dave, that is why Ben and Simone continue to rule the land here in Pickleball. Well, we just had the best seat in the house for as good as you are ever going to see a mixed pro doubles match in the world. Rob Cassidy. Yeah, you know, Ben Johns with that hustle and uh, taking it to that kitchen line, getting low and putting it away. Fantastic match. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and joining us. We will be right back after this short commercial break. Stay tuned.